In this video, we will review the Manning's equation. Then we will be solving an example using an Android application. So well, let's begin. This is the Manning's equation, where V is the average velocity on the cross-section, its units are meters per second, N is the roughness coefficient, is usually taken as dimensionless, but the units are seconds divided by meters powered to one third. Then we have the hydraulic radius, its units are meters, and finally we have the slope S, that is the slope of the channel, its units can be meters over meters, feet over feet, miles over miles, and so on. In a general sense, its units are length over length, and in that way can be taken as dimensionless. Using the continuity equation, you can also express this equation as a function of the discharge and the area of the cross section, as shown, where Q is the discharge in cubic meters per second, A is the cross-sectional area, so we get the following equations. If we express the hydraulic radius as the area divided by the wet perimeter, we get the following two equations. These equations are defined in SI units. If we want to use them in US customary units, we need to perform some conversion using a factor. The value of this factor is 1.486 and it is because the n coefficient of roughness is expressed in meters and the respective conversion is as shown. Thus, we obtain the following equations in SI units. Uh, sorry, in US customary units. We have these equations for SI units and these equations for US customary units. Now we will solve an example. We need to calculate the y depth for the following rectangular channel and we have the following information. We have a discharge of 2 cubic meters per second and a certain slope. B is the width of the channel and N is the roughness coefficient. Well, let's begin. We need to calculate the area though that will be the width multiplied by the depth, in this case 3 meters multiply it by y. We need to calculate the wet perimeter that will be the width plus 2 times the depth. Then we need to calculate the hydraulic radius that will be the cross-sectional area divided by the wet perimeter. Uh, finally, we need to replace all these values in the Manning's equation and we get the following equation. This is a one variable equation. We can use a calculator for solve it or use numerical methods or even try to find y. In this case, I will use uh, an Android application. I will leap the uh, link on the video description. So let's continue with the application and we will be using the Manning's equation solver. Well, uh, we need to input the data on the respective text inputs. The discharge was 2, the area was 3 times x, where x represents the y depth. The row coefficient was 0 0.013, the hydraulic radius was 3, 
and multiply it by x divided by the wet perimeter that was 3 multiply it by 3 plus 2 times the depth. The slope was that value and we need to input some initial value for x. As we know, there could be multiple roots in some interval. I will input 0, that 0, 1 as an initial value for x. And then we press calculate and this is the root. This is the root of that equation. The depth then is 0 0.328 as an approximate value. And finally, the solution to this equation is 0 0.328 meters.